Hi friends, welcome back to the Moss and Mirth channel. If you're new here, I'm Stephanie and I do nature inspired DIY and craft videos. Today I crafted up a pocketed macrame wall hanging that is great for holding small potted plants, desk accessories, or other household items. Now let's go ahead and get crafting. For this project, you will need a 12 inch piece of dowel rod, macrame cord, 180 feet worth, twine or string, a measuring tape or ruler, and your scissors. Begin by measuring and cutting a 10 foot piece of cord. Now keep repeating until you have 18 pieces total. I ended up using two types of cord because I didn't have enough of one type for this project, but it still turned out beautiful and I feel that you can hardly notice the small differences in the cord. So use whatever you have on hand. Now that you have your pieces cut, set them aside. Collect your dowel rod, twine, and scissors. Using your twine, measure two times the length of your dowel rod and cut. Then securely tie each end of your twine to the ends of the dowel rod, creating a loop that you can use to hang your macrame pocket. Now you will need to attach all of your cord to the dowel rod using a lark's head knot. First, taking one piece of cord, find the center and slide that under your dowel rod. Take the two ends and pull them through the loop created by the center of the cord, and then repeat until all 18 pieces are tied to the rod and evenly spaced. Now go ahead and flip it over and secure it so that you can easily continue making knots. Next you'll be utilizing a series of square knots. Taking four strands of cord, cross the far right piece over, take the far left piece under, and then feed the ends through the loops you created on each side. Now do the same thing alternated, meaning your left piece goes over and your right piece goes under. Keep alternating until you have four knots created. Now repeat until you have seven columns of knots. Next, you will continue to make rows of square knots in a V shape.
When you get to row four, you can begin doing two square knots rather than four. Okay, the next knot you will use is a diagonal triple half hitch, and it's less intimidating than it sounds. Taking your farthest strand of cord, angle it diagonally, following the V-shape created with the square knots. Then take your next cord under, over, and then through the loop. Do this three times per strand, following the V-shape all the way down. Now repeat it on the other side. Next, you're back to square knots. Starting at the center, tie two square knots at a time in a straight line across the entire piece. Now create a second alternating row. All right, you're almost done. Take the two far strands on each side, bring them together in the center, creating your pocket, and then continue tying square knots. By now, you should have a row of knots with three columns. Taking the inner strand from the two outside knots, you will tie square knots around the whole bunch of remaining strands. After tightly tying four alternating square knots around the entire piece, go ahead and flip it over and tie a simple knot on the back just for extra measure. Your last step is to trim up the tails of the cord. You can cut them straight across, staggered, 
or even unravel the cord for a fringe effect. And that's it. Your beautiful macrame pocket wall hanging is complete. Thanks so much for watching and returning back to the Moss and Murphy channel for DIY and lifestyle inspiration. Just to let you know, I may not be posting videos as frequently over the next couple of months due to some other projects and commitments, but I promise to keep bringing you fun and easy projects as often as I can. So please like, share, and subscribe for more nature-inspired content, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!